<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hmm. That's better. <laughs> uh, read the shirt. That's what kind of day it's going to be. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about hypocrisy today. So we've all heard these stories about the government ordering you to do one thing during this pandemic while doing the other. And we've had a, a ton of examples like that. Don't travel, do not travel, do not go anywhere. And then they go on their own personal vacations and, and try and hide the fact. We've had people fired here from their government positions in Canada for doing just that many, many times. But I want to show you a perfect example of government putting on a show not really meaning what they do, not really following their rules, just putting on a show for the cameras to make it look like they're doing exactly what they're telling us to do every second of every day. The clip I'm about to show you is our Deputy Prime Minister of Canada. Okay, very important position in Canada, wouldn't you agree? Um, but... Uh, Let's watch, let's just take a quick look at uh, as she's ready for the cameras. Um, and whenever they turn on a camera at a government event, when they're talking, you know, or they're making an announcement or they're talking about COVID or something like that, you always see them. They have their mask on like this. Oh, 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 oh. And then they, as they get ready to go, they, they take their mask off. Even if they're like, one person's way over there on that side of the table. One person's way down there on this side of the table. They, they both have their masks on. One person will talk. And, the, and then when the other person talks, the other person puts on their mask again like this, as, as if the 50 feet that they have between them um, makes a difference. You, you know, that, that, oh my, look at me. I'm following the rules, everybody. Well, just watch this clip. Okay, uh, places everybody, places, uh, Deputy Minister, you don't have your mask on, put your mask on please, thank you, alright, let's put on a good show for the Canadians everybody, you gotta put on a good show, alright, we're about to go live, gonna get ready to go live, everybody ready, you got your masks on, everybody ready for the fake show, alright, and here we go, action in three, two, one, and Deputy Minister, you're on. I don't have my mask on. I'm not wearing a mask. I'm doing all my work and everything. And oh, we're about to go on camera. Put the mask on to show everybody at home on the camera for the good show. I have my mask on all the time, everybody. I wear my mask everywhere I go. I have no, you don't. No, you don't. And it's okay. You're not around anybody at that table. You're sitting by yourself at the table. But no, it's got to be a show. You got to put a show on for people. You have to make it look like you're wearing a mask 24 seven. I wouldn't be surprised if these people, you know, are, are trying to let us think that they're wearing masks in the shower. Ah, uh, it is absolutely ridiculous. And then, wow, here in Canada, we have a province that is right now our worst province for the outbreak in Canada. It's Alberta, one of our Western provinces and they re-shut down all the restaurants and the restaurants that are allowed to open for outdoor dining you have to maximum of four people at a table uh, they have to be from the same family you have to uh, the tables have to be spread apart from each other outdoors you're not allowed having anybody within six meters or something like silly like that um, and here's a picture of you know what a restaurant supposed to look like. Of course, the minister, uh, the premier of the province who shut everything down and uh, keeps the country locked in, the province locked up, well, he's allowed to have about 10 people around a round table outside on his patio. They're sipping whiskey. They have bottles of wine up there. Nobody is staying the six feet apart that they're supposed to stay apart if there's more than four people. Nobody's wearing masks around while they're having their conversations. 
It's a lolly, you know, it's a lovely time. It's a lovely time to be a politician that you don't have to, I mean, who's gonna take a picture of us up here on the top of a patio, up here on the top of our building? <laughs> well, somebody did. <laughs> and now you look like an idiot. Um, but it's just, it's such hypocrisy that they expect, you know, the normal person out here they expect all of us to follow the rules 100%. And they're fining people left and right. We if we find a guy for sitting in his car during this pandemic in a Tim Hortons parking lot by himself with nobody open and even Tim Hortons wasn't open. The gentleman got a police car pulled up, told him to move, and he asked, why do I have to move? And he got a ticket because he was sitting in a Tim Hortons parking lot by himself in his car and got a ticket because the Tim Hortons didn't want anyone hanging around in their empty parking lot because the police officer said, because if kids see somebody sitting there in their car in the morning by themselves, they might want to hang out in the parking lot at some point because we all know kids love nothing better, nothing better in this world than hanging around a Tim Hortons empty parking lot when the Tim Hortons isn't open. They just love it all. Oh, hey, what do you want to do today? Let's head to the empty parking lot at Tim Hortons and, and sit, sit out in the cement. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Some of the things that have gone on during this pandemic are absolutely ridiculous. And the thing that bugs the heck out of me is just the complete hypocrisy. Right? Just the do under do you guys do it but oh i'm different right and you've had it in the united states you've had governor newsom go to an indoor dining event when nobody else was allowed to go to an indoor dining event you've had mayors go and get their hair cut right right chicago mayor right chicago mayor you had to get your hair cut while you were arresting hairdressers for opening their business, but you got a private one done for you and yours. And the excuse you used was, oh, well, I'm a public figure, so I, I have to be in front of a camera. So so I, I needed to get my hair done. I represent the city. No, you don't. You represent your own self-interests. You represented your own self-interests. And that's what the government uh, politicians have proven time and time again that that's what they're doing, right? The politicians don't suffer in the least because they do what they want while telling us that we can't do it. But don't forget, don't forget, if you're gonna be on camera, you know, make sure to get that mask on before the camera starts rolling. Otherwise, <laughs> people might not think you're listening to your own rules like you're not.